So welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a very quick video. We're going to have a bit of a news roundup between like the likes of UFL, um, like what they've been stating, because there was meant to be a gameplay trailer this month, but we've had nothing and it's getting close to December. Uh, then we've also got this other game called Football Player 2023, which I kind of wanted to touch upon and also ask you guys what you want to see on Friday, okay? I am going to be streaming probably like four or five hours because I'm off work, which is fantastic. So we can sit down and play, but I want you guys to make the decision of what you want me to play. So all that to come, right? Let's dive into this. Right, so the first piece of news is uh, the UFL game have snapped up the deal, the license for Borussia Mönchengladbach. There you go. Got to love the pronunciation of that name. So Borussia Mönchengladbach has officially confirmed that they have signed a deal to appear in the up and coming UFL game. Uh, the new football arrival to FIFA and eFootball promises to be a major change to the pay to win concept that can plague other titles on the market. You know, I mean, I don't always agree with that. Like, playing FIFA, like, I have a decent team. Okay, I paid $100. I did pay the $100 to get the Ultimate Team Edition so I could play it early. I got some points, right? And I got some decent players. But I haven't paid really anything. Well, I haven't paid anything since that. But I have Maradona in my team. I picked up Mane for, you know, these are all from players that I got from just opening up packs that were free. So it's not necessarily paid to win. It's more the, the actual gameplay. I mean, that's really the problem. So I'm not really bothered about the pay to win aspect. I'm worried about the gameplay aspect. Um, several teams have already confirmed their allegiance to the new football revolution, with the Bundesliga side the latest to confirm their involvement in the new project from Strikers. That is the company making it. Uh, the team confirmed that they will be part of the new game on social media, writing UFL X Borussia. Soon the free football simulation UFL by Strikers Inc. will be released and Borussia will be part of it. Stay tuned. Fantastic. So they have snapped up that. So it does show you that, you know, they're going for some licenses. I mean, there aren't tons around, I'm sure. Uh, this was another one that they snapped up a little bit of time ago. You may have already seen that. As we know, they already have the likes of Firmino uh, and Zinchenko. They showed a few face scans. I wasn't really impressed with the Firmino one. I thought the uh, Zinchenko one was a little bit better. Um, and they've also got West Ham, as we know, because we've seen the, the London Stadium. Now, uh, the club's uh, latest sign a license agreement with this new and upcoming game, a Portuguese giant sporting Lisbon. Um, the club who play in the Champions League will now be heavily involved in the game. And like the Hammers, their stadium will also be available to use. Ah, oh, very nice. Uh, the release date for UFL has not been announced yet, as they continue to make the final changes to the game, but it's hard to not get excited by it. Hmm, so there we go. A little bit of news for you. They've got the sporting license now, the Mönchengladbach one, the West Ham one, as we know, uh, and then they're like partnered with Zinchenko and Firmino. So overall, um, that is that in a nutshell. Now, if you head over to sort of the UFL news on Twitter, they did state on November 22nd, a few days ago, a gameplay trailer is currently being produced for UFL. Don't know when it's going to be coming out because they did state that it was going to be out in November, but we're nearly into December. Uh, if you go to the comments, the but people just don't want to see, and I totally understand, no FIFA style, um, I bet cinematic. And that's probably what it's going to be, more CGI trying to get you engaged with it. It's not going to be actual gameplay. Uh, I hate when companies do this. Call of Duty is the same. Battlefield's the same. All the games are the same. They show you a snippet, but it's like, I don't really need it. But they do it for marketing purposes. You have to understand that. If they put out some sort of gameplay and it didn't look very appetizing because they still had to do a lot of work on it, it could be very detrimental to putting the game out because people are going to look at it and go, well, I'm going to pass on that. So for them, yeah, don't put out any kind of trailer with gameplay until you're happy with it and you know it's going to get a positive response. Otherwise, eFootball all over again. So there we go. That's UFL summed up. Right, now we're going to move on to this new game that's coming out. I don't know if you guys have heard about this or know about it. It's not for a while because it is basically in, what, like 2023? But it's called Football Player 2023, uh, which is a new announced simulation game 
predicted to launch in 2023. Become a professional player and take your player to the very top. Now, this is going to be on PC only to start with as we scroll down. Um, I'll give you guys a little bit more information. It's kind of hard to see with uh, this text being so small. Uh, but Football Player is a simple football game, a simple one, where you create your own player, take them to the top. Okay, Football Player will be running on Unity and will look to give you the most realistic experience of becoming a real football player. Uh, we want to build a game that will closely simulate the career of a real player. I thought this was interesting here, though, including personal life and professional life. What is this? The Sims, maybe. Uh, the game will be launched on PC first and then slowly merge onto consoles, probably depending on how well it does. If it doesn't do well, it may not even reach the console stage. Um, but it does state right there, coming to consoles, Unity is the engine. I mean, how good is Unity? What can we expect from that? It's not really the Unreal Engine, so I don't know how in-depth this is going to be. Uh, and it was announced back in September uh, the 21st. So there's not a ton of stuff here. Um, latest news is pretty much just showing you this. Um, and if there's anything on the FAQ. So is Football Player a simulation or an arcade game, all right? Football player is a sim game. We are trying to make a game as realistic as possible. Not graphic wise, because we think realism is the most important thing of football games. So yeah, it's not going to be a crazy expensive game like right here. Is it going to be free? No, however, it's not going to be expensive, 15 to $20. So very much doubt this is gonna be online. It'll be an offline only sim type experience maybe like the sims where you control your offline you know your, your personal life as they state and then you go and play the matches i don't know it could be a fun interesting concept uh, are we going to uh you guys can't actually see that can you hang on a minute um, are you going to play or the games will be sim the games will not be played completely the games will not be played completely, hmm. uh, but you will get scenarios when you have a highlight. So you will get the chance to shoot, pass, cross, defend, take a set piece. The rest of the game will be commentary. Ah, OK, so this is very much like a football manager type game. That's pretty much what this is. Uh, is football player a simulation or an arcade game? Well, that's the same question there, isn't it? Why have you got the same questions twice? Hmm? don't understand that um, but there we go folks so this is pretty much from from going by the faq yeah this is going to be a very much a football manager type game except you might play a little bit more so um yeah we'll see what happens with this one keep an eye on it but it's not really going to be the next big thing but we'll see all right, folks, so that's all the news out of the way regarding UFL and then uh, the football player game. But I wanted to talk about Friday now. So I need you guys. I'm going to put this video out with a poll, OK, with a big poll attached to it. I want you guys to go and vote because we can either play the, the, the Derby County playthrough. We can continue playing that or we can go and play the Luigi player career. I mean, those are my two options. There's FIFA, there's FIFA, there's football manager as well. But, I mean, probably sitting down and playing Football Manager four or five hours would actually be a decent idea. Um, but I don't know how interesting it would be, you know. So I want you guys to vote. I'm going to put those three options. The Derby County Master League, the FIFA 22 player career with Luigi, or Football Manager, and we give it a bash with probably Man United just to get my feet wet. Not necessarily going to take the results as 100%. Like, if everyone votes for Football Manager, I still don't know if I'm going to play it. But I want to get a feel for what you guys want to watch. Um, and also, who wants Master League back? Like, I need you guys to tell me what you want. I'm not getting the views, honestly, on, like, the FIFA videos, which isn't a surprise because a lot of my subscribers are Pez fans. But then it's like Master League is also becoming a little bit stale. So I need to find something and just plow through it. So Virtua Red is coming out with a new patch. So I was also thinking about maybe doing another Master League with Manchester United with a brand new manager, maybe Pochettino, someone who might come to Manchester United and then plow through that. I just want to find something that you guys are going to watch. And that's why my content recently has been all over the place. Because I try something and it doesn't really get like the views that I want, the interaction I want. And I'm like, well, let's try something else. And it, just all over the place, folks. So, so please give me some insight of what you want to see on this channel. Are you a Master League fan? Are you a career mode fan? What, what, what do you want to see? Let me know. 
Uh, but anyway, go and vote between those three games. I'll choose what I choose. Uh, and then Friday, I'll put a post out probably around 11 a.m. Eastern time, which gives you guys a lot of time to watch it. We'll sit down. We'll have some fun. Uh, and it'll be a good old session. So there we go. Anyway, until next time, subscribe for more. We're back shortly. And take care.